Hey guys, Brady here. Packers are 3-0 and on the way to a big Sunday meeting against the 49ers. We'll start talking about the 49ers game tomorrow. Today I want to talk about where the Packers offense begins. It's got to start somewhere and we're going to go under the hood to find out where. How about a quick slant at GreenBayPackerNation.com? Well, guys, Aaron Rodgers said that this offense starts up front, and in the game of football is won and lost in the trenches. We know that. Um, so what I want to do today is just kind of unpack the play in terms of how this offensive line, even in the absence of Brian Bulaga, has done an admirable job against some very good fronts. It hasn't been easy opponents that they faced, and they've done a good job. Don Barkley's had his moments where he hasn't been good. Uh, even Bakhtiari had some moments where he was not playing well. But in, the, in particular, in the game against the Chiefs, the offensive line did a fantastic job. So let's set this up a little bit. The play before this was the Randall Cobb end around. So we had, I believe, like trips right, or we had a bunch on the right side of the line. And then ran the end around around the left and caught Tom Bahali in inside. Caught him a step inside. What happened is uh, David Bakhtiari gave Holly the gave him a soft inside shoulder and let him begin to take that inside just as Randall Cobb got the ball and Randall had a 10 yard run outside. So what I want to look at is the play after that because the sequence is very important here. With that run outside, Holly sets up on the next play the James Starks 10 yard run and what he's done is he's moved himself a little bit outside he's a little bit afraid he wants to step outside he's about a half yard I'd say further outside than he was the the play before trying to make sure that he stays gap sound plays outside in this generally works however the Packers have a different idea in mind so what they've done is they've gone uh, strong side here they've got Richard Rodgers and you can see um, Justin Houston pointing out the strong side and what it looks like is that, okay, so you've got a matchup here, and you have Rodgers can either help double-team Houston, leaving, and, and you've got wide receiver here to block. So Rodgers could double-team Houston or chip him and then go to the linebacker, which leaves James Starks with a wide-open gateway right here with one guy to beat, which is exactly what you want. Not only that, but he would be one guy in the third level at that point. And even if they double-team Houston... Um, Starks gets into the second level hopefully before he's even touched. This looks like this play is going to be run to the right side. Ali is on the outside again and what they do is something very different than what the Chiefs have expected. So let's fast forward for a minute and see how this play develops. So we set this play up with an end around to the left followed by an offensive set strong side right that makes it look like we're going to run to the right and that's not what we're going to do what we are going to do is this the minute the ball is snapped Corey Lindsley pulls around to here and as you can see Tom Bahali gets caught outside he stepped a little bit outside now Bakhtiari switches shoulders on him and what we get you'll be familiar with we get a seal here and as Lindsley comes up, we get a seal here. And you all know the saying, we're going to run this play in the alley. And that's exactly what we do. James Starks does his job. And the Packers end up on first and 10, getting 10 yards for another first and 10. That is the way you draw it up. And that illustrates that this offense does begin up front. <laughs> 